Hmm. Hmm. And sometimes people post some really good stuff on Amino. And other times I'm not even sure why I'm on the site ever. Because I'm a very socially awkward human. So, it is 9 o'clock, I'm going to stream for maybe an hour, hour and a half, uh, Call of Duty, and then I'm going to switch over to Halo 5 for a while. Uh, I'm just going to chillax and play some Forge, maybe a few matches of custom games. Uh, really, it just depends on what happens. I'm also going to listen to Halo music while I do that, because I love Halo and Call of Duty. Battlefield is okay. I never really got to play Halo. Oh, Jesus. I never got to play Halo, Call of Duty, or Battlefield in any of their heydays. So it's always been some kind of dream of mine. And I don't know, man. I don't know. This year feels like it could be the year. Alright, I'm gonna have to spawn on my teammate. And then rush that fucking staircase with two grenades. Alright, everyone's already dead. Now I'm sad. Enemy UAV overhead. Allied UAV overhead. Never mind, I'm dumb. I wish I didn't have to mute people, but um, Twitch can be kind of uh, strict in a not good way with their guidelines and stuff. So even if like a total stranger says some really fucked up shit, I could get in trouble, which is dumb, but like... I guess I can understand if they think I'm PewDiePie or some shit. All depends on who you are, I guess. The way you act, the things you say. You know. But still, like, you would think if you were a big enough Twitch streamer, you would have enough of a community. They'd monitor you from time to time. They'd check in. They'd kind of have a, a figure of what your content is like. They might know what kind of people follow you based on your actions when you speak about yourself and other things I'm alive God, this game sounds so amazing At least I'm still Enemy legally allowed to say shit. Mm. I thought he was on the floor below me, but I went to check the room anyway, and I kind of assumed that I would be safe. Which, of course I wasn't. I got a cookie for you, fat ass! Oh, I missed. Never mind. No cookies for you. God damn it. Oh, God damn it. Now we move to another corner. This guy is going to be there the whole game now, isn't he? He's just going to keep switching corners. Pissing me off. Enemy UAV overhead. UAV dropping in. You're not the right person, but he is. Did we end up killing this bastard, or did he get away? I guess he got away. Enemy UAV overhead. Enemy personal radar overhead. Shit. Enemy cruise missile. Enemy 
personal radar overhead. You're needed at Charlie. Enemy UAV overhead. We lost Charlie. Allied really, man. Tell me that registered. Alright. I was shooting a wall, I guess? Yeah, you can see my bullets just bounce off the metal. Alright. Should have pushed left, but I didn't want to. Fuel depleted. Enemy UAV overhead. Reloading. Need backup on Delta. Uh oh. Enemy cruise missile, take cover. Enemy personal radar overhead. Nice try. Good job. <laughs> I'm dumb. See, if my teammate hadn't killed that guy, I wouldn't be able to spawn close enough to defend the place. So either you put all of the points within like 30 feet of each other to make sure that they can be properly contested and taken back, or you just let people fucking spawn on them. I keep thinking that everyone's an enemy. That VTOL was seriously hitting me through this roof. Alright. Not a fan of that, malarkey. Enemy UAV overhead. Bruh. It's kind of funny how, like, everyone who plays Coalition plays as the fat guy with the beard. Uh, my team is really bad at defending B site, I think is what I've learned. Self killed. Alright. It was a friggin' LMG, wasn't it? Yeah. Alright, LMG screen shake is a bit obnoxious. Also, hello, father. I'm so sorry for not paying attention to chat. It's just kind of my thing, because nobody really tunes in, aside from you so far. Hoping to change that, but no idea when that will be a thing. I'm pretty sure I just blew that guy up with his own whatchamacallit. This isn't battle. This isn't Battlefront. I'm sorry. Oh, that's not good. See, that's the reason I have to mute people. That guy said the N-word. I don't know who was. Who are you? Where are you? 
I don't know who's talking. I'm gonna have to just, like, friggin' mute everyone on the team, I guess. There's no button that's like, this is the guy. That's annoying. Are these people not on my team? Are the people I'm hearing enemy on the enemy team? I'm confused. I just got done muting everyone on my team, and I could still hear people talking. Okay, I think we're fine now. I have no idea. So most people have heard talking in a ground war lobby. Now one guy was so impressed with his double kill that he had to say some bad words. Close that door for shits and giggles. Kind of agitated I can't mount on this. That's why just a leaning system like what uh, Rainbow Six Siege has would be great, because you aim down sights and then you click your left stick to lean left, you click your right stick to lean right. It's a lot more useful than, oh well, if you want to lean around a corner you have to press a button to put your body up against a wall, because you see it's, it gives you the advantage, uh, because it lowers your recoil. I don't know, I feel like they could, um, just add those things so that they would be together. You know, an individual lean system. Okay, I guess we had an ACP there, but didn't. Again, again, they need to change spawning so I can spawn at a point the enemy team is taking from me. Like, it doesn't have to spawn me on the point, but it should spawn me near the point. How else am I supposed to stop them? Unless they were to double the amount of time it takes to capture these places, it would literally be a statistical impossibility for me to defend them. Allied IAV dropping in. We're taking Delta. Okay, I don't think there's anyone around. Losing B. Come on, teammates, don't lose B. We're holding Delta. Enemy UAV overhead. Not an ounce of opposition. Except this one guy, just sitting there, waiting for me to leave the site after I capped it. What a prick. Alright, I'm gonna try going for the C flag, but I'm not sure. Oh boy. Thank you, teammate. I have my ass right there. That's a great guy. Who the hell are you? New. No. Gotcha. I don't think they have a mute everyone button yet, which really sucks. That would be really useful for live streaming. Not that it's a feature I'm like extremely proud of having, but it would be useful. Okay, I, I was alive for maybe about five frames. Hey, we won! Woohoo! Oh. 
Return to base. Darn it. I died more than I got kills. That sucks. Yeah, what that guy said. I, I don't speak Spanish. I hope he's happy. I don't know what any of them are saying. Is there seriously not a mute all button? Ah, voice chat volume. Fantastic, I can just turn that all the way down to zero. Perfect. Then I don't have to stop and mute everyone when they start saying stupid shit. The chances of you meeting a very, very nice down-to-earth person who plays Call of Duty is slim to none. I know that because I am one of those people. I am very far from the earth. I'm on the moon. But some of these people are on fucking Mars. Maybe a little farther away. Oh, it's like 100 degrees in my room. I'm so sweaty. And I got all of my stuff turned on. I need to get like a fan in here for when it gets this warm. Great start to the game. I mean, I would I would open my door, but it's uh, it's one of those things. I'm not always quiet when I should be. Oh, that makes me ADS really slow. Huh? Okay, I guess my dad is opening my window. I guess I'm just going insane. Wouldn't be the first time. Oh. Thanks, Ted. Oh, we lost B site? When the hell did we lose B site? Now we have all of the wrong sites right now. We can capture this without a hitch. Right, awesome. Now let's try and be freaky and go capture C without failing. It's a crazy foreign concept, I know, teammates. It doesn't seem possible, but I promise you I'll make it possible by playing way too aggressive. Three teammates just showed up to go on the rooftop. That's gonna be big. Ah! Kinda like that grenade that just blew me to hell. That was terrible timing. Oh, terrible spawn. I'm I lived. I lived. That's the important thing. Look at the positives. I hate that I can't adjust my safe area anymore. It 
It's interesting that you can change just about everything except your kill streaks mid game. You would think that you would be allowed to change those too. Okay, there's a guy up on the roof. Care him. Allied cruise missile away. Friendly UAV overhead. Hostiles at Delta. Counter UAV on standby. Go for counter UAV. Send it code. This is Jaguar 30 Scrambler coverage active. What was I going to do with those two guys, man? I, I could have gotten another VTOL, but I was playing way too aggressive there. And that guy was able to two-shot me. Okay, the bridge is just clear enough that I can spawn. I knew that fall would kill me. It's not like I'm falling wrong. There isn't a way to fall wrong. I'm just dying from falling three stories. Even though I've never heard of that happening to someone who landed on their feet. Like, yeah, I'm carrying around an extra 200 pounds and I might break my leg, but it's a video game. Video games, unless there's a specific animation that's like, ah, oh, your character fell and broke their legs. Guess what? My legs aren't broken. And that makes it a load of crap. I need more rockets. Okay, I need an ammo box that isn't going to vanish. Are my rockets getting anywhere near this thing, or...? I can't even tell. Mm, that was close to killing me. I got hit with a frag, or what? I'm confused. I don't even know how I died. It says I was killed by a frag grenade, but how was I killed by a frag grenade? There was no explosion, so the grenade must have bounced off of me, but I wasn't even shown that. Okay, mission accomplished. The tank is down. So you step in the right direction. You know, if they're gonna have the spawning on objectives be stupid, they might as well just make it so that I can spawn on it when my teammate doesn't own the site, but is capturing it. If it's not gonna make sense, why have it make any sense at all? Level 30. I unlocked like 600 scopes. Enemy cruise missile incoming. We're holding air cover. Enemy precision airstrike. Take cover. Enemy UAV overhead.
Friendly UAV overhead. Securing Charlie. Well, we were capturing C, or did we not start capturing it? I guess while I was busy killing the bad guys, my teammates decided we didn't need the point, so they just walked away. <laughs> Win the game, why would we want to do that? Where that stupid thing shoots my ass. I want to take down this stupid tank, but I want to take it down and come out in one piece. I don't like that. Ah. Looked like that cruise missile was going to kill me. Thank God it didn't. Oh, teammate, you were right next to the son of a bitch. Stop being in combat for like two seconds, guy. Come on, there we go. Oh, I'm so damn far from me, though. There are no vehicles around. Bunch of teammates over here who aren't trying to cap it too. What the hell? Friendly UAV helicopter ain't gonna screw with us here. I'm gonna need rockets because things are about to get real serious in a second. Unless that tank is just ignoring us, I guess? No, I'm not complaining. Um, but we just lost every single site that isn't E, which is right next to their spawn, making it entirely useless. Good job, teammates. You're a bunch of failures. Again. Teammates in these games genuinely annoy the shit out of me. In 6v6 game modes, I can get away with saying I would be better off on my own. Or like, with Izzy, you know, just me and him, but like... 32v32, I think a 1v30 could be a bit unfair. Uh, that tank is making a run for it. I might be able to make it go boom. I can get over there, of course. That could be difficult. Oh, my teammate got it. Sweet. We're so far behind the enemy team. I don't know why the hell we can't just capture C. No, not even remotely close. Back up an echo. 
Oh dear. How did this happen? I'm smarter than you. See, like, th there was already a perfect spawn point for, ah, uh, the enemies are capturing the point, but you still have to be able to spawn on it to defend it. Like, why can't I spawn there when things go to shit? Alright, well, now that that thing's at level 30, I'm gonna switch back to the M13. Oh, we just captured, like, all of the points. What the hell happened? How did that happen? Alright, awesome. I'm not gonna complain, but, like, Jesus. Couldn't we have done this way earlier? How did I not kill that son of a bitch? We're crushing them. Stay with hostiles at Delta. Enemy UAV overhead. Oh, we won. Fantastic. <laughs> he was just sitting in the tank. Obviously the most skilled player in the game. Never have I seen anyone get such an amazing, dynamic, fluid, high-octane final kill cam before. That was a joke. That was very boring. I'm, I'm sad that that was the final kill cam. I really am. think and I'm gonna play either team deathmatch or 20-man domination whatever comes up that's uh, what I'm gonna play for now anyway because I do enjoy the uh, 32v32 mode but sometimes you want to play something a little smaller than that and that's okay If we had a nice 2x scope, I would probably use that. 3x can be a little much, and sometimes it's not quite enough. We're looking for a happy medium. Team deathmatch. We've got enemy inbound. Lock and load. Enemy UAV. I'm still bad at video games. Still bad at video games. I saw that guy for like a solid three seconds before he saw me, and I just kind of looked at him like, oh, what if I shot him? Sometimes, man. Sometimes I am a fool. A big fool. And sometimes I'm just really unlucky. Depends on the day of the week.
You know, the nice thing about 32v32 is that there is so much ambient noise happening that you cannot hear a goddamn thing. But this, it's like, I can hear everything. And it gets to be really overwhelming. It's just kind of like, well, I don't know where everyone is, but I can hear them. And it just drives me nuts, because I can't figure anything out, and then I die like four times in a row without getting a single kill, and it's like, okay, I guess I should just not anymore. One kill off the C UAV. Speaking of UAVs, doesn't look like. I don't know, they do have one up. And it's just leaving. <laughs> Hopefully, people will be more aggressive in the 6v6 mode when they add dead silence. Hopefully. Or a kind of quiet, I guess I should call it, because it's going to be another year where dead silence doesn't make you dead silent. It makes your footsteps quieter. Unless they do actually mean that your footsteps are going to be silent, in which case, fantastic. I'll use it. But people, especially in modes like cyber warfare, are going to sound horror like they always do. So even if my footsteps are quieter, they'll still fucking hear me coming from a mile away like that guy just did. You see, he stopped sprinting and turned and looked at the doorway because he could hear me clear as day. Apparently my shit's too quiet. I need to sound whore harder. Ow. Sound like I just fucking ate a gunshot. Trying to find the perfect spot where it's loud but not gonna burst my eardrums out. It's the last thing you want to do is go deaf. This thing can't sound horror at all. You can vibrate, but that's, that's it. That's not useful. I'm too aggressive with this mode. Like, with 32v32, it doesn't really matter. Like, deaths aren't very important. But with this game mode, it is very important. Because when I die, that means the enemy can win faster. And I just keep fucking dying. Because I'm bad at video games. I think it's a mixture of me being bad and the enemy team being really slow. It's gonna be final kill cam, isn't it? This dickhead camping on a barrel, shooting me in the face. Yep, it's this dickhead camping on a barrel, shooting me in the face. Huh. <sighs> Great game, bad people. It's Odin. Call of Duty Ghost reference for like the two people who've ever played that game's campaign. Well, there's another gun that I can get to max level, hopefully. I, I doubt it. it. Takes a while to level up the guns, and I'm really terribly inconsistent at this game still. I think it's in part because I'm still learning the maps and the routes that people run, so. Excuse me. At the moment, 
It really doesn't matter. Team Deathmatch. We've got enemy inbound. Lock and load. Mm. Oh, excuse me. That spot sucks. All he has to do is stare at the door from his window, so... He's still fucking sitting there. Mm, crap, crap, more crap. Thanks, phone. Look at that, the professional gamer sitting in a window with a claymore was the King Slayer medal for me. Cause God, he had to try so hard. Yeah, I'm not fucking moving. Got claymores to cover his ass so he doesn't actually have to pay any fucking attention to what's going on. You can just camp like a loser and win. Everybody knows that's the most fun way to play video games. Is to be bad at them. Entire enemy team was right fucking there. They were all within range of that room. As soon as one of them shot at me, they could all shoot at me. Well, I was trying to shoot the claymore. I wasn't ready for there to be a guy there. Granted, I can justify that death, but that doesn't magically make it okay for me to have lost the gunfight. Wow, man, I bet you think you're just the greatest fucking Call of Duty player of all fucking time. <laughs> I put a claimer on the ground, I'm so good. I fucking hate people. And they're gonna have to nerf those things or remove them from the game, because they're so annoyingly unfair. Or at least add, like, a sound so that I can hear them when I go around a fucking corner like that. I can't tell whether I'm gonna be okay or I'm gonna just fucking explode with no repercussions to the guy who placed it. Ah, you're so damn cheap. We're losing control. Oh. Enemy UAV overhead. Come on, game. Spawn me in faster, please. Gotta be going like six and twelve, man. Enemy personal radar in the air. This is so fucked. I just heard two different setting a claymore audio files. Like, are you fucking kidding me, dude? Yeah, this is just gonna be the entire fucking game this year, isn't it? Everyone's just gonna camp with claymores, and they're gonna get they're gonna get rewarded for being douchebags. 
Like, I wanted to give the benefit of the doubt and assume that maybe people wouldn't play like dickless assholes every match, but no, people are gonna do that every match. I lean around the corner and he can see my entire body. So I guess I'm gonna have to just avoid the 6v6 game modes, because they're just fucking camp fests. Like, you know what, I'm, I appreciate the developers trying to do something different, but the game favors camping way too damn much now. And I think the problem with Q&A testing games like this is that the people who Q&A test are people who like the games. And obviously, if you are going to be playing the game all year for work, you're gonna like it. You're gonna get good at it. You're going to learn how to play aggressive. Why did my TV just freak out at me? Okay, hi TV. I wonder if that showed up on stream or not. That was bizarre. I can literally hear these assholes placing the fucking claymores. But I can't actually hear the claymores. Fucking shotgun. He had a fucking shotgun. Of course, his boyfriend was sitting in the corner with his fucking shotgun again. I hate this game. Now, right now, I genuinely dislike it. Playing Ground War is fantastic. Playing 2v2 is fantastic. But 6v6 sucks, and I'm not sure if I can blame it on the map, or if it's just the players. I don't know. Because I haven't gotten to play with anyone who's actually good at the game. I've just been playing with these assholes for the past, like, four days. And people who think that what determines your skill level is your ability to sit in the corner. I'm really trying to enjoy this. I'm doing a little bit better now that I kind of have a general idea of where the hell they're going to be. But seriously, man. Of course, he was still fucking alive. Oh my god, this enemy team doesn't deserve to fucking win. They're actual garbage, like... It's rare that I hate the enemy team enough that I, I don't want them to win simply because the way they play is cheap. Bring the UAV overhead. 
So I like the 32v32 mode. And after three, three and a half days, the 6v6 has devolved into absolute bullshit. With a bunch of idiots camping and using cheap weapons and cheaper strategies so they don't actually have to have skill. And the 2v2 is competitive. It is 2v2. That's where you're going to find people who actually enjoy playing video games because they enjoy being good at them. Not because they want to ruin the experience for everyone else, because they think it'll be funny. Uh, again, I've I've enjoyed this game. You know, the first day or two when people didn't have claymores, this was fun. And now that people have claymores, they're not going to do anything other than sit in corners and think that they're the best player ever, because they're cheap assholes. I mean, unless they're all going for the fucking gunship, which they're obviously not going to get. They don't deserve to get, but seriously, I'm not going to be able to play standard team deathmatch ever again, I don't think. Probably not going to be able to play CTF either. Or any other game mode. You know, Search and Destroy, uh, Demolitions, which is like one of my favorite game modes, because it's so hectic and it lasts for a really long time. And then, I'm not going to be able to play, what else is there? Uh, Hardpoint, if that's going to be in this game. Cyber Attack. Uh, anything that has standard 6v6, I think it's going to be unplayable now. After just that one game, I never want to touch 6v6 again. And who knows, maybe I just got a shitty lobby. Maybe I was just stuck with a bunch of douchebags. Maybe that's all it was. But it didn't feel like it. Back up with Bravo. I don't want to sit here and test it for an hour Enemy and figure out overhead. how fucked it is. I'd rather just have fun Capture playing a game mode that enemies. is balanced. At least more so than that shit. Because there might be vehicles in this game mode, but I can destroy them. Because they pilot like ass, mostly. Oh, teammate got a gunship. Okay, why are you just sitting here? What are you doing? I only hit him with one bullet somehow. Teammate, what are you doing in here? Allied cruise missile launched. Enemy UAV overhead. Ah! Enemy has Delta. Allied counter UAV act. Allied UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. We are losing ground. Focus. Enemy cruise missile, take cover. We're taking echo. Enemy UAV overhead. Need backup with Bravo. This is a good chance to take a water break. Allied. Enemy cruise missile, take cover. Echo secure. My voice does not like my throat. So fluid. Now that I'm getting used to the movement controls, I actually really enjoy movement. Like at first it seemed it was a little restrictive, but it's just different. It's a more detailed Modern Warfare 2. That's how the movement in this feels. <laughs> Fuel leak. Enemy UAV overhead. 
securing Delta. Assist your team at B. I'm hoping that they do have a 50v50 mode in this game. I feel like that would just be pure insanity. But I do think they need to make the maps a little smaller. Like, the points are really compact in the middle, but then A and E are so far away that I have no idea how they even got there. Like, why are they in those positions? They're so disadvantageous. Allied UAV overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. Need backup on Delta. I lived. And I did awful. I think my problem is that I tend to think of smaller games like 6v6 are more of the um, competitive kind of game modes, and then I have lobbies like that one I got sucked into earlier, where everyone was camping, and it was just a drag to play. Like It killed my mood and made me want to put the game down. Which sucks, you know. That's that's not a that's not good for the developers and the publishers because then they la they lose player retention. But the good thing is we have alternatives to the six v six this year. Maps that are bigger than that, so they can support more players, and it's just going to be better. Just got that six that match that six v six match. That fucking killed me. Like, that was physically painful in every way, shape, and form. You know, I'm gonna try going for a juggernaut. going to be difficult because I'm still trying to level up the FAMAS ripoff, but um, it should be a little easier. Ooh, my leg just crunched. Operation Fire Pit. Well, at least it's realistic in the sense that the different teams have different names for it. It's not just we're all doing the same thing. Cyan, okay. Our teammate who was driving didn't know how to drive, I guess. Why would you set up a claymore next to our headquarters? That doesn't make sense. I crashed because I was looking at chat to make sure no one left any messages. <laughs> that was sad. I thank you for that, Dad. I'm glad that you're hanging around. I apologize that I'm complaining so much, but... That's my way of attempting to vent stress. Because otherwise I'm going to explode. I'm a ticking time bomb. Or something. Yeah, I'm trying to do me, but in a less annoying way. It's just proving annoyingly difficult. Delta. 
Jesus, everyone is dying. I was blinded, and then I... <laughs> right as my eyesight comes back in, it's like, hmm, look at death. <laughs> it's staring you in the face now. What's that blinking light? It's death himself coming to say hello. This thing, I'm gonna need the, uh, vertical foregrip whenever I get the FAMAS to level 6, because it has quite a bit of upward recoil. Which makes sense for a burst weapon, but it also makes attempting to aim at long ranges really annoying. The whole point is that I want to put a few bullets down range without missing a target. Be better for me to just use a sniper rifle, but yeah, I gotta get closer to these guys and then I can take them down. And if they stay in that same spot and they don't have any teammates able or willing to watch over them, I can just do that. Come up behind the sons of bitches while they're not paying enough attention. And the good thing is, they're not using claymores, so I can actually get up here and stop them from being annoying. Enemy UAV overhead. All right, I just hit level six, so it's time to put that grip on here so I don't have to deal with weapon kick as much. Now, hopefully that will make this thing a beast at long range, but... I don't actually know yet, and I want to get a 3x for it, because burst weapons are great for mid-range, usually. So, what you want to do is get, like, a medium sight on them. Use them to your advantage against snipers and stuff. The snipers can't afford to miss, but if you have a strong burst weapon, you can afford to miss, as long as you're not stupid. Or completely surrounded. Securing Delta. Enemy personal radar overhead. That does feel quite a bit better. Oh, I just got a quad with that friggin' rocket. That was fantastic. That was nice. <laughs> I enjoyed that outcome greatly. We have control. Crush them. We capture Delta. We're taking Bravo. We have control. Crush them. Enemy chopper gunner on approach. Allied UAV overhead. Three kills off. Allied UAV overhead. Really don't want to lose my V tool. Allied cruise missile launched. I'm under attack. Allied UAV overhead. Allied cruise missile launched. We lost A. Yeah, da 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 da. Don't want to get shooted. I'm very close. I'm playing really conservative again. Enemy personal radar overhead. Enemy UAV overhead. We're holding Alpha. Securing 
Bravo. Allied IAV dropping in. Enemy support helo in the air. Enemy VTOL in... Enemy UAV overhead. You're needed at Charlie. Enemy... Allied IAV dropping in. Enemy UAV overhead. No! What the hell? How did no one have me covered? I was one kill off the VTOL. Oh, that would have gotten me the Juggernaut suit in like two seconds. God damn it. I was, I was right there. I was so painfully close. Now I gotta try and build that streak up again. The only reason that streak even started was because I got lucky with that rocket. Took out four guys for me. So I had a CUAV up without even needing to work for it. Oh, they got the uncomfortable powdery thing. I don't know what white phosphorus does to people in real life, but it doesn't do practically anything in this game. There was a fucking claymore in there. I didn't see it until I was just about to walk into it. And I was like, I'll just walk into it. I'm dumb. Sometimes I do really dumb things. I make dumb mistakes. Assists are great when you're not looking to get kill streaks. Yeah, in this game, white phosphorus is basically useless. Like, it just makes it a little difficult to see. And you take, like, two points of damage. And that's it. That's all that happens. Enemy UAV overhead. Like, if they would have made it work like, um... Yeah, what the hell were those? Napalm strikes? Uh, and stuff? Then... Like, if it actually killed you when it went off, then I would be like, oh, that's terrible, but it's completely different, and the game is just kind of like, meh, that's annoying, I can't see as well now. Uh-oh, the game just tried to kill itself. When they announced that uh, that was going to be one of the kill streaks in this game, I heard some people were not happy about that idea. I'm not sure if Infinity Ward toned it down because they didn't want to get a lot of pushback, or if it was always intended to be completely useless, but it's completely useless. Like, oh, my screen's a little foggy now. Oh no. Completely different from real life. Oh, no. I'm confused as to why it's in the game. Because it seems kind of pointless. Because that... White phosphorus isn't even like a legal thing to use in war, is it? If it melts people, that sounds pretty not Geneva Convention-y. I can't imagine that that's allowed. If it is, that's really fucked up. More so than bullets. feel like I can never have enough ammo. They really need to tone down some of those death screams, because they are obnoxiously loud. I made a small post on Reddit about that being one of my problems with the game. Oh, 
that's a paragraph I'm gonna have to read in a second. Yeah. Does not sound pleasant. Ow. I gotta try and get around this guy in this building here. I don't want him in here anymore. This is probably a really... Ugh. I was gonna say this is probably a really terrible place to call in my CUAV and then I got fucking shot in the face. Oh man, it didn't even get called in either. Oh well, I can call it in again in a second. Might as well. No point in stacking them because I'm not gonna be able to use both. Get away with killing me there. Okay, if there's ever a place for me to spawn at right now, it's gonna be B site. If it can melt you, that uh, sounds like it should be not part of the uh, things that are okay to do in war book. But in the game, it's completely useless, so I don't understand why it was included. Yeah, that's me for you. Ow. Hurt my finger. Think I'm gonna play one game of realism. And then I'm going to go and do Forge or something in Halo. I'm feeling like playing some Halo. I can stream this game for maybe an hour or two tomorrow morning. Just before they close the beta. That'll be fun. Fubber. It'd be funny if you could actually put five letters in for your uh, clan tag. I would most certainly have my clan tag be Fubar. It's one of my favorite sayings. I unlocked any. So I unlocked the scout combat at level 10. I'm at level 9. Okay. Sh that shouldn't be too hard to get. I have recon unlocked so I can see nameplates farther away. That'll be useful. The enemy has the lead. Oh no! Team Deathmatch. Here they come. Attack! Allied UAV overhead. You know, it's amusing for gameplay balance that. Friendly claymores don't explode when you walk over them, even though it literally makes zero sense and is not possible in real life. Does not matter who plants the claymore, it goes boom. Bitch got behind me. Big sad. So as if I would have just gone for the melee, I could have killed her and walked away, but didn't happen that way.
Oh, that's what they should do. They should make it so that claymores can kill you and your teammates if you accidentally walk in front of them. Because then no one would use them. That'd be fuck. Uh, that's perfect. They just completely changed the way claymores work in the game so they work the way they do in real life and don't give a shit. They just blow your ass to hell. That would make the game actually playable because then no one would want to use claymores unless they were wanting to be douchebags and kill their teammates. In which case you just have the teammate kill limit or whatever like you do in hardcore where you can kill like two teammates or something and then you get kicked. Or there should be like a forgiveness system. So if you do kill one of your teammates or you do end up uh, getting killed by one of your teammates it can be like oh yeah that was just an accident I wasn't paying attention didn't see it when I ran over it sort of thing. Is, uh, they have that system, or a system similar to that in Rainbow Six Siege. If you injure a teammate, uh, they'll turn on reverse friendly fire, which means that any teammates that you hurt would just hurt you instead. So then, uh, if you shoot a teammate and down them or something and you're playing with a buddy of yours, you know, he can just press the, that was just, you know, us screwing around, everything is fine button, and then it'll go back to working the way that it should. Because reverse friendly fire is a punishment in that game. But some of like the funniest things that happen in that game are when people end up killing their teammates. Or downing their teammates. Doing a stupid joke and now I have the hiccups. Not pleasant. Ah, not a teammate. Shit. <clears throat> Wish my nose didn't get so dried out when I talk. I think it's because I'm, like, intentionally not breathing as much as I should. So that I'm not, like, hanging <sighs> into my microphone. Because that just sounds gross. But then I dry out, like, really bad. And my voice gets all gravelly. Teammate, did you kill the lady that's up here? Or no, but I did, so all is well. I have a counter UAV available. Should put that up, since they have personal radar. That's not a teammate. Son of a bitch. targeted the wrong one. Fuck! Ah, stupid auto-targeting system. You know, now the other one's leaving, son of a bitch. He didn't even know where I was in the window. He just aimed at it and started fucking spraying downrange. Just my luck. I don't know, I like the idea of realism mode, but it's only really appealing if I can land headshots, which I can't do. I'm sure the keyboard players are gonna fucking love that game mode. Like, to death, playing against console players. Because if you're accurate on a keyboard and mouse, you'll never land anything but headshots. If I remember right, Shroud or one of those other really big streamers has like 100% accuracy. He does those like aiming tests or whatever, you just like click points on a screen, he gets 100% like every time. Even when the layout is totally random. Like I wish I could be that good at PC games, because then I might actually feel like making some sort of investment in my setup, but yeah. PC games are never really that fun for me. 
especially first-person shooters, because, I mean, my computer works, but it doesn't... I never get games with anything less than, like, a hundred ping, because all the games that I'm playing are, like, really old most of the time, and there are only, like, a couple hundred players. So usually, I like, when I want to play Halo Custom Edition or something, I have to go and play, like, on a Mexico server, because those are the only fucking people still playing the game. <laughs> So I'll be rocking a hundred ping, and some servers they have it set up so that if your ping is too high, you get kicked from the game. Like, well, where the hell else am I supposed to go to play? Either I play here or nowhere. Enemy personal radar overhead. God, I wish they would show me how many times I've died. That would incentivize me to do way better. Like, a lot more than just, oh, you have nine kills and one assist. Like, that's not really going to push me to do anything other than continue doing what I'm already doing, which is not working. I ah, can't land edge shots, man. Well, I guess it's never, fellas. <clears throat> Thirty seconds. Well, we got thirty seconds. this game. They hit hard. Good. We will remember. I don't want to just remember that they kicked my butt. I don't want to just remember that. I want a rematch. And get rid of this tactical Tito, because he obviously sucks. It's all his fault we lost. Definitely not just Team Synergy being bad and not having map control. Yeah, see? I didn't even know how bad I was doing. I went fucking 11 and 18 because I had no idea how many times I died. Like, I'm gonna have to just, like, start keeping a tally mark of my deaths because that'll be easier than just being like, oh, whatever, and then being pissed off when the game is over. Like, why am I fucking dying so much? Why am I doing so terrible? It's because when my KE starts to fall behind, I don't have any, like, mental incentive to try and do better. Okay, well... Now I'm going to switch over to forging in Halo 5 or playing custom games in Halo 5 or something. I'm going to just stop this stream real quick and then start that one up. So I shouldn't be offline for more than like a minute, minute and a half. So, blippity blah 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 for uh, anyone who's catching this stream in the future. So not live. Uh, I hope that you somehow enjoyed this. I guess you must have if you sat through this whole thing. I'm Avatar Chief. I'll see you guys next time, whenever the hell that is. Bye bye Oh yeah, also hit the follow button. I forgot to mention that. That's important. If you want to see more, that's, that's important stuff. Bye, again.